Thank you for joining us here on the First Alert Desk at Atlanta News First Plus. We are talking today about a technological marvel. Tomorrow, the world will get a chance to see the unveiling of an X-59 supersonic plane. Now, this is a quieter supersonic aircraft that is expected to make a smaller thump instead of the loud boom that we're all familiar with. And to talk more about that is Jim Less, also known by his call sign as Clue. He is one of the test pilots for the Quest mission and also a Georgia Tech graduate. Here joining us now is Clue. Tell us a little bit about the excitement ramping up between today and tomorrow. Well, tomorrow with the rollout ceremony is certainly a very exciting step. This is when we will introduce the X-59 aircraft to the public. Uh, doesn't mean we're ready to fly yet, but it's uh, definitely one step closer. This is a chance to take flight to the next step, really uh, taking talking about supersonic travel from the loud boom that we hear to what will no, be known as a sonic thump. Can you explain the difference between the two? If you've ever heard a sonic boom, it sounds a lot like an explosion. Uh, it's a very sharp crack that rattles windows and will certainly get your attention and startle you. Um, this, we've been told, the X-59 thump should sound like your neighbor slamming their car door next door. Any chance you could tell us what the secret is to achieving that sonic thump that we are uh, hopefully going to see here in the future? Absolutely. It's not really a secret, but it is all in the shaping of the aircraft. And the, uh, the key there is long and skinny. I'll see if I can show you. I've got a model right here. Get that on the screen. Uh, very long, skinny aircraft. It's about 100 feet long. The nose takes up 38 feet of it. So it's it's almost half nose. One other unique feature of the X-59, since the nose is so long, there is no forward windscreen for the pilot to see where they're going. Uh, we can see out the side, but we can't see forward. So there's a camera system with a TV monitor mounted right in front of the pilot so that we can see where we're going for takeoff and landing. And for yourself as a, a pilot on board uh, something like this, uh, talk a little bit about uh, being in the seat. Not many people get to say that they uh, flew an X-59 or will have an opportunity like this. Well, that is true. There, it's a single seat airplane, so it's really just for the test pilots. Um, I'm one of three pilots who will get to fly it. Um, there may be a few more, but initially there's there's three of us that will be doing the, uh, the bulk of the test work. Um, and as a test pilot, that's kind of the highlight of, a, of your career, getting to fly an X-plane, um, getting to fly something that's never been done before. And we will see the rollout ceremony, hopefully down the line. We'll, we'll hear more uh, about this, this flight and the, the goals that come out of it. Talk to me a little bit about uh, what this could mean for the future for the average person out there. Well, so the whole goal of our program or the end goal is to get where you're going faster. We want faster travel. If you can fly supersonic, you can get there maybe twice as fast as a conventional airliner. Um, but the problem with going fast is when you're supersonic, there's this sonic boom. Um, which has been banned um, by most governments as well as our own um, over land. It's been banned for the last 50 years, and we're trying to change that. When we show that we can make a quiet thump, we'll then take that data and fly over uh, communities around the U.S., gather public response to the sonic thump, and then present that data to the FAA and other agencies to try to change the, the ban on supersonic flight. Uh, for yourself, you, you know, you are a Georgia Tech a grad, something that we're proud of here in Atlanta as we're cheering you on. Um, sitting here today with us, thinking about tomorrow, thinking about really what this year holds for you, uh, what's going through your head? Well, mainly we're, we're working hard. We just want to get this thing airborne. Um, it's been a a lot of work, a huge team of dedicated uh, engineers and managers and everybody else working to make this happen. They certainly aren't going to let us pilots get in it until it's ready to go. Um, and we're going to do our part and try to make some history. If anybody wants to watch the rollout ceremony live tomorrow at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, um, you can go to NASA's streaming service, NASA Plus. 
You can go on NASA TV. You can go to YouTube at NASA or just go to nasa.gov slash quest, Q-U-E-S-S-T, for more information. Well, we wish you the best of luck. We appreciate all that you're doing uh, to bring this to life and, and the team at NASA hard at work around the clock. Thank you so much.